There are many emotions coming from the family members here at the Jefferson County Judicial Center. Feelings of agony, fear, and ultimately forgiveness from one of the victim's sisters. Meanwhile, Lopez expressed his own sorrow in a personal statement to the court. Walking out, handcuffed and in an orange jumpsuit just after 11 a.m., Stephen Lopez, along with the family of Tyler Girth, were ready to end this nearly three and a half year ordeal. I cannot find enough words to convey how sorry I am, to say how remorseful I am, truly from the bottom of my heart. Lopez went on to say how he was bullied at the protest and feared for his life before grabbing a gun from another protester. He then opened fire into the crowd. The prosecution disagreed, allowing family members to give their impact statements. My son had dreams, aspirations, and an abundance of compassion. Tyler's it sister, Brittany Lowen, read a statement heart. from their mother. It literally feels as though a piece of my heart has been ripped out of my body and is constantly ripped open in pain. In her personal statement, she read from notes and pictures her children made to share with the court. Why would anyone try to kill Uncle Tyler? He was a good guy. Tyler's own sister, Tiffany Hensley, also read a statement from their father and her own statement as well. You have the decision now to make something of your life, maybe even honor the life you took. I hope you choose to use this turning point to be an upstanding human being. I hope you take the opportunities you get and make something of yourself. My brother would have wanted that. I spoke with Brittany to see what she thought of his words. I hope that it was sincere and that uh, he is truly remorseful. And um, I hope that he heard my words, that I want him to know who Tyler was and that hopefully Tyler can be an inspiration to him to uh, make the most of his opportunity. Earlier this year, Lopez decided to change his plea deal to guilty, bringing this case to a close. He will now serve a 30 year sentence and will not be eligible for parole. Reporting in Louisville, I'm Jose Alonso, WHAS 11 on your side. The Garth family also mentioned today since Tyler's death, they've created a foundation to continue his legacy. If you'd like to learn more about that, head to our website, whas11.com.